Hey, this is Darren from Property Prosperity. I'm just getting this house in Clearview ready to go on the market. It's not going to be on the market for another couple of weeks, but uh, if you're interested, obviously send me a line and I'll, I'll keep your details and give you a call when it comes on the market. I thought I'd just take you through and just give you a bit of an overview of what the property is and some, some things that you could do something with and maybe some things you may or may not choose to do. So I'd love to hear your feedback too. Maybe hear what you think you could do with the house as well. So put a comment in the comment box, click on the like if you like what I had to say. Even if you don't like what I have to say, still click on the like because I really appreciate it. Or if you know someone that's looking for a property in Clearview or maybe just want to get some ideas of their property, click on the share button because I'm sure they'll appreciate it. So where I am, I'm actually just across the road from Centennial Park, which is, I'm just going to spin around here. You can have a bit of a look over here. So we're actually directly across the road here. Hey Henry, thanks for joining and thanks for the like as well. So you can see it's a really good location here. It's actually quite a big block. So it's an 824 square meter block. So in my world where I'm subdividing blocks which are like 200 square meters, then 824 square meters is a, is a huge block to be able to deal with. So I'm gonna have to take you a quick walk through the house. Hey Les, thanks for joining. And I'm gonna just walk you through, so you just have a bit of a look at the property itself and then maybe give us some feedback on what you think might be a good idea to do with the house. So, come in here, I'm going to click on here so you can walk as we're coming through. So the house is in pretty original condition, um, you could, but what the good thing that the owner's done is he's come in here and he's actually renovated the bathroom, so we've actually got a renovated bathroom here with you know, new tiles, semi frameless shower screen, um, you know, china to toilet and all that sort of stuff, so that's quite nice. Um, so we've got a nice, nice size little living area here, we also have a nice little dining here and so this is where we can see the kitchen's actually been renovated it's got stone bench tops and everything and then this one over here is they got a little stone bench top on this nice little table here as well so and then I'm going to take you out the back and so this is where you know you can really start to see the value of the property because out here you can see how big the block is so like I said 824 square meters so Plenty of potential if you were thinking about subdividing the property. Just give you a look out here. Actually, the owner used to be one of Australia's best pigeon racers, so there's a few little pigeons left out the back there. Mainly retired now, so so he doesn't really do it anymore. But so you can have a good look here at the size of the property. It is a relatively narrow frontage, so it's about it's 15.24 meter frontage, which means if you end up subdividing, then it's obviously going to be just over seven and a half meter frontage, um, which seems relatively narrow. But I've done quite a few subdivisions where we've had a seven and a half meter frontage, so you can definitely can can do frontages of that um, width. Uh, particularly in this particular council, was a Port Adelaide Enfield council, which allow you they don't actually have a minimum frontage size when they're doing a subdivision. They have minimum block sizes, which is around about 300 square meters is their minimum block size. Obviously this block is 820 something square meters, so you're not gonna have any problem as far as the minimum block size. So when you end up with a 400 square meter block, you know, you're gonna have a, you can fit a four bedroom house, two living area house. Obviously it's gonna be long and narrow, but there's plenty of things you can do with the design of a house to, to make it a bit nicer, um, to try and break it up a little bit by putting in a second living area and all that sort of stuff. So. So yeah, what, the reason I wanted to take you through here is I wanted to maybe get some of your feedback. So I'd be, I'm actually quite interested to see whoever buys this, what they intend to do with it. Because, because of the new kitchen, the new bathroom, you could live in it straight away or you could rent it out for a period of time. But then obviously there's huge amounts of value in the land as well, just such big blocks and a really awesome location as well. I don't know if anyone knows where Clearview is, but Clearview is only probably 10, 15 minutes out of the city, so it's, a, it's an awesome location as well. So, yeah, love to get your feedback. Put your comments in the comments below. If you like the property, even if you haven't liked it, I'd still appreciate it if you click on the like button because that's really cool. And if you know someone looking for a property in Clearview or maybe they're just, just a nosy person, they want to, want to check out some houses, then click on the share button because I'm sure they'll be interested. So, thanks guys for joining. I look forward to hearing your comments and I'll catch you up again next time. Bye for now.